going to do is the center hub, which is back to our junky old 2x6 deck boards. We're going to cut four pieces, um, five inches long, and you're only going to make one of these. So you only need four pieces. Four five inch 2x6 um, pieces cut to make your hub. You can arrange them in a um, corner by corner fashion so that you end up with a nice little square like so. And you can glue them and then gun nail them together this way and don't even worry about screwing them because it's going to get all screwed in from, from the sides of the water wheel. And you just put three nails in each side of the hub piece. Hold it together. What you're left with is this square box. Used as the water wheel hub. Should have three and a half inside dimension. This is made from two by four and we're gonna call it the We'll just call it the hub key. You just want to take a two by four and cut it at three and a half length so it ends up square. The hub key fits into the hub. Once you make these pieces and get them ready, the hub and the hub key, don't forget that this is the outside and they go on the inside. So at this point, you got to pick the wheel up and flip it over to the other, other side. Once you've flipped the wheel over, Take your hub key with some glue on it and using the spokes and these four corners as a, as a guide, the intersection of the spokes, you just get it as close to the center as you possibly can. We'll go ahead and just gun nail it to the center spoke. Put it down over your hub key and then you can gun nail it right into the key just like that. Take the wheel with the hub nailed to it and flip it over. Dover sitting on top of the hub and the key you can nail each spoke into the two by side of the and then this is where you finally screw these in and you pre-drill them so that you don't split it and then just make sure that your screw is going into the two by edges of the hub below it. All done, you should have eight screws, two in the center spoke and then one in the end of each other spoke piece. And once this part's all assembled with the hub and screwed in with the eight screws on the side, and flip it back over again and start building the water buckets. Also, when you're done with the water buckets, you're going to need the whole other half, the other side of the wheel, so you can go ahead and build, basically just repeat all of the steps for building the wheel. Next, you're going to mark and cut eight pieces of your old 2x6 deck board at 22 and a half. Cut it at a 45, uh, a bevel cut, so that the long end is at 22 and a half. When you're finished, you want a piece that looks like this, bevel cut on one end, and just straight flat cut on the other, and the long from the, the long side from the point so the straight cut is going to be about 22 and a half inches and this is where you use up your old 2x6 deck board. If you've cut the eight 22 and a half inch pieces with the bevel cut on the end you can arrange them on the water wheel, lay them out as your water wheel bucket fins so that you start with this corner lines up with, with this intersection of the uh, spoke and the wheel sides and then this 
just barely covers the opening right there on the opposite intersection of the spoke and the wheel sides and then this lands on the back bottom side of the next one and we'll start over and lay them in a lay them out in a pattern like that and check them all mark on each one this distance should be about 13 and 3 once quarters. you've got them laid out in this pattern you're going to want to go around and gun nail them together um, from the side into the end of the bevel cut and then you can also toenail from the top edge down into the water wheel side and then just go all the way around like that just kind of watch it and make sure it stays in place so carefully flip the thing back over again so I recommend screwing each fin from the top side now that we have it flipped over into the spoke so like right right here and then at the bottom end right over here and then the next one will start here and down here and so on and again I would pre-drill this especially if it's old material and that way you get it get a good solid connection without, without splitting it and you can lay these screws out symmetrically so that they're kind of in line in the middle of the spoke so that this one would catch the fin before it and then this one would catch right in the middle of the next fin make sure when you're pre-drilling for these you move this up or down accordingly so that when you're in the center of your board this way you're lined up with the center of the 2 by underneath it so that you don't miss it and run the screw one side or the other and have it not, not line up. Now that we've screwed all the water fins into the side spokes we're gonna good and solid we're gonna flip it back over again. So the next step is to seal the fins to the side of the thing so I would blow it all out with compressed air and again we're going to seal this side with the other side off just because it's easier to reach all this we're less concerned about this top spot part area because water is not really going to collect here the water is going to collect down here so this transition this intersection between these two and then this whole triangular corner right in here and maybe even this joint and then this where it's really close to the bottom edge of that where you can see daylight through there that's all needs to be sealed up with clear silicone And you can use your finger or gloves or whatever to kind of smear it in a little bit and get this little spot right here, this joint intersection between the two, the spoke and the side. The fucking gun won't reach down in this intersection of the two fins, the back side of the one and the bottom of the next one. You can use a piece of fuel hose or something attached to the end of the caulking gun. Um, what I do is kind of a weird method. Take this triangular shaped stick and put about a you know five inch layer of caulking on it, and then just use it as a handle. Come right into the corner and just smoosh it in there like that, and just kind of draw it up. 
and it smears it in and seals it up. So I use about one tube of silicone to seal the one side on all this uh, between the fins and the inside of the wheel and then use the stick to push silicone into the corner. I used a lot in there because um, that's where most of the water is going to be. Next, once the one side's completely sealed and this whole area of water collection is sealed and down in the corner and everything, now it's time to put the two halves together. But I would say uh, test fit it first before putting any silicone, see if it fits. Get the two halves ready to go together. The way I would fit this too is the one, make it line it up so that the one full length 2x4 spoke is opposite, as in perpendicular to the other full length 2 by spoke, so that they're kind of uh, offset and overlap that way. So you get the one <clears throat> half on top of the other and just get it to where the key lines up in the hub and then it should be pretty close to square with the other piece. Now even with that key fixture in the hub obviously there's a little bit of movement, a little play so you can kind of just line everything up and center it and just look at the other one and line up the line up the ends. Once you've lined it up and got it all like looking good you're gonna pick this side up on one edge and prop it with a stick so that it's just kind of open like an open lid. So the idea here is that before you put the two halves together you prop it like this and you can get in and get the really the areas that are going to be hard to seal once the two halves are together. And you just kind of put it on the edge there near where the water side is going to be. So it'll squeeze out when you lay it down. Make a nice bead. on the side where similar to how we sealed the other side but this way is just a little bit easier before we put it together and once you got a pretty thick heavy bead of silicone all the way around on the on the water side of the wheel bucket edge you're just going to pull out the prop stick and carefully lay the other half down again and then once you get it laid down while the silicone's still wet, you just kind of re-examine all these ends and make sure it's sort of twisted right and lined up the same as the other half. And then you can start shooting gun nails into it to uh, hold it in place for the screw. We just pre-drill the same way we did on the other side. Put the eight holes in for the screws going from the spokes into the hub. And then you just tighten the screws into the hub. We're doing the same technique here where we line up the fin with the center and then move it you know up and down this way so we can keep it centered in the spoke. So when you're all finished attaching side two to your water wheel you should have eight screws in the center hub and 16 screws around the perimeter, two in each spoke near the end going into the top and bottom fin just like the other side. Now we're going to stand it up and flip it over again to access the other side to finish up the sealant. So now with the water wheel flipped back the other way you can see where the sealant smooshed out and you can just kind of check it and see okay is this sealed all the way here. Um, does it need more? Maybe just touch it up a little bit. 